just to give you guys a little bit of a pan of what we're looking at right now. So we had quite a bit of a technical path behind us, maybe about 20, 30 minutes behind. And uh, lots of rocks and a little bit of climbing, tree roots, a couple fallen branches or trees that we had to navigate around or under in the last case. And we should be coming up to our campsite for the night very shortly. It's at a set of falls and we're all looking forward to it. So we hiked about, I think we finally left camp at around 10 and got to Plater Harbor at around 12.30. Had a very nice long lunch. We explored the area a little bit and we uh, got back onto the trail at just before two o'clock in the afternoon. I think maybe about an hour, maybe a little bit more than an hour from that, we should be coming up to our campsite. Should be good. Guess what? Very, very cool. Bridge is wobbling a little bit. I drop anything, that's for sure. And no, I am not looking down. And definitely feel the bounce. And a little bit of a climb. That's it. Come on! Boom. All right, folks, this is CHF1, our site for the night. In a name of falls that I would not try to pronounce. So, Tiny's got her tent set up and is on wood duty of sorts. Got my tent set up. Epic scene in the background. James off to the side. Got a campfire going. Lots of wood around for us to make a campfire. Gonna get out of the smoke and out of Tanya's way. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> so this path goes to the second site as well as another beautiful shot of the river and rapids. So it's a little bit of a type of peninsula that juts out into the river. Hopefully you can hear me over the roar of the rapids. So we have probably the bigger of the two sites. Not really sure where to set up multiple tents. The ground is not as even. So maybe up there. Small tent there. Maybe one here. Fire pit. And there is a uh, backcountry latrine as well. And a bear box. And that is our view. Duck, a couple of duck ducks. Oh, sorry. We dipped our uh, toes in the river earlier today. It was pretty cold, but uh, I was able to stay in for a little bit. Might want to wash up a little bit later on. Very, very cool stuff. Oh, 
hopefully you can hear me. I did a recording with all trails and according to that, we moved just under four hours, but the total time was just over six hours. Now it's our first day out on the trail. All of us were kind of moving a little slowly, kind of working out the kinks and stuff. Lots of up and downs, quite a few climbs. And if you're, you know, accustomed to climbing like out west where, you know, it's kind of like a, a steady incline, it's not like this at all. So a very, very small example here. So you kind of see how there's like a little bit of a roll, but now increase that by, you know, say six feet, eight feet, whatever the case may be, even more. And you have to go up and down those constantly and always looking for boulders and rocks and tree roots. So, you know, you just can't, you know, like some of the trails that was on out west, you could almost, not completely, but almost, you know, be on your phone and just walk the path because you don't have to worry really too much about obstacles. But here it's a very different story. It really reminds me and uh, Tanya as well of the Bruce Trail. Kind of technical. So some of the longer days will have to have a much earlier start. Tomorrow is about 14 kilometers to Morrison Cove, I think it is, or Morrison Harbor, one of the two. Should be interesting trying to fall asleep with the noise of the rapids traveling through the ground. Damn. Beauty. Just finished dinner and got more water. It's 7.30 and it's raining, but we set up everything earlier, so yeah. Where's my woolies? Your what? My woolies. I don't know where your woolies are. Oh,